Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. And look, I'm not the world's biggest sports fan, but there's some kind of scandal going on with the kind of Hawthorne Football Club and kind of some kind of racism scandal that looks like an entirely, uh, entirely a beat up, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to talk about that tonight. In report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, as I said before, I'm not the world's biggest sports fan. The grand finals on weekend, I don't even know who's playing. So that tells you how much of a sports fan I am. But anyway, look, the point is there is a racism scandal that's come out about Hawthorne. Okay, now, um, you know, I, I guess I, I, I've looked into it a little bit, you know. There's apparently some accusation that someone, um, you know, uh, some member of, um, you know, the Hawthorne Football Club advised an Aboriginal um, player and his wife not to have, have their child. Uh, now, I mean, does that mean that they think the Hawthorne Football Club is sitting around with some eugenic plan? It's like, yes, here at the Hawthorne Football Club, we need less Aborigines. We must advise all football players not to have children, you know, some sort of eugenic plan. What a load of bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. I've never heard or seen so much bullshit in all my life. Now, could the be something like, you know, maybe now's not the best time um, for a child because we want to promote you, because it would be better for your career if you don't have a child. They might have said something like that. They would say that to a whole bunch of white players as well. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's probably none of their business. But also, too, the other interesting thing is it denies Aboriginal people themselves agencies. Are the Aboriginal players, are they children? Are they, like, so suggestible that if someone suggests, oh, I don't think you should have a child, they're like, oh, really? I don't think I should have a child. Oh, thank you, white massa. You know what I mean? What a load of rubbish. You know, I've never... And it's so insulting to Aboriginals themselves that they would, you know... And again, it's all being used. It's it's like some of these Aboriginal players are complaining because they all want to be Adam Goods. They want to dine out and be the professional victim, be the Grace Tame, you know, except like the Aboriginal version of the football field like Adam Goods. Dine out on it for 10 years, you know, get Australian of the Year. It's like almost like a gateway to Australian of the Year, isn't it? Being a professional victim these days. So it's absolute bullshit, whatever's going on. And this happened with Collingwood as well. I didn't hear too much of the details about the racism scandal, but guess what? That was bullshit as well. You know, when you're talking about Aboriginals in professional sport, they're admired. All Australians admire them. You know what I mean? Unless maybe they're like Adam Goods where they're a complete arsehole and they like attack a, like a 10 year old child who said something innocuous in the audience which has turned into a, you know, like they had this kind of giant 35 year old football player attacking a 10 year old. Everyone in Australia was supposedly siding with the 35 year old Aboriginal man who's built like a brick shit house. I mean, it's a 10 year old kid who said something. It's ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely ridiculous. And it's Professional victimology. Uh, people didn't like Adam Goods because he's an arsehole, a complete cunt, not because he's black. You know what I mean? He's just a cunt. You know, occasionally you get an Aboriginal who's a really nasty person. You know, Anthony Mundy's not a particularly nice guy either. You know, but he's a really good sportsman. But as a person, he's a bit of a stinker, isn't he? But we ha we love, you know, Yvonne Corley and many Aboriginal sports stars in Australia who are also nice people. We love them. All Australians love them. There is no racism scandal. Australians almost universally love our Aboriginal sports sports stars and all this stuff about institutionalized racism in football clubs Collingwood Hawthorne is a bunch of bullshit and that's what I've got to say tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain